Hello, brothers and sisters. In 2011, November the Biz Act, I was called by the Lord to enter into the ministry. And in my mind, I instantly thought, okay, I need to go to school to be a minister. So I signed up for one of those free courses online and I started to go to school, but I just wasn't feeling that, you know, something kept tugging me away from that. So I stopped going to the school online, but I continued to study in the Bible because I felt that that's what the Lord wanted me to do. And then I got into YouTube and started getting into the rapture dream people. Then all of a sudden I became one of those same people having rapture dreams. Little did I know that there was an evil spirit attaching themselves to me, giving me dreams, giving me raptures, rapture dreams into heaven. And here I am, I'm grouping myself with them, believing in the preacher of rapture into heaven. So I know about all uh, what they're going through, what they thought. I know the scriptures they use. I use the same ones to rationalize the future rapture, even though it's not stated nowhere in the scriptures that you will be preacher raptured into heaven. Now, this is before I awoken. So, throughout the year, um, half year of 2012, as I'm getting deeper into the rapture group, start having more rapture dreams. 2013 rolls around, I started having even more experiences, meeting more people, and building up a YouTube audience of rapture people who believe in pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, rapture into heaven. And here we are, we're being led by these evil spirits and not even knowing it. And we're waiting on this event and that event happened and people keep putting out evidences about, okay, get ready, because here it comes. We're, we're getting ready to fly off into heaven. Y'all get ready. And everybody's all hype. You know, and uh, and we really, really believing in this. <clears throat> so toward the end of the year, November comes. And I'm a little leery about everything now. And then somebody put out some evidence suggesting that Black Friday would be the time, right around that time. So Black Friday comes, the rest of the predictions comes and goes. And I'm really getting away from the rapture group now. So I'm like, oh no, no, no. There is some lies here. There's something going on here. There's something ain't right. Something been tugging me all that year. Uh, the Lord prompted me to get off of YouTube, but I came back, thinking that he called me back on. But this time, I had it again, well, it's time to get away from it, all of it. So I slowly started getting away from the rapture group, pre-trip rapture group, at the end of the year. Even though I'm still kind of connected with a few of them, I know something ain't right. So at the end of the year, I had enough. Christmas come by and go, and then end of the year, uh, here it is around the 30th, I believe. Somewhere around there, I had this dream, because I had enough, y'all. I had a dream that I woke up. I ran to the bathroom and threw up. And then when I woke up, I knew that I threw up spiritually. All the lies of 2013 and before, I knew that. That's that's what came to me. It's like the spirit, the truth was telling me that's what happened. Because all through the year 2013, I prayed for the truth and I kept continuing to pray for the truth. And I kept seeking the face of, 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 of God, Jesus. 
Yeshua Mashiach. I kept seeking his face, never stopping, just believing in everything, you know. I want to know complete truth, get, get, you know, wherever it's at. So here it is, 2014 starts up, and I'm still having these little dreams here and there. It's the enemy still trying to keep me caught up in the uh, mess. Uh, as I had these few little dreams in January, I posted like one or two, and but I, I still wasn't too into YouTube anymore. And I couldn't get into this, the little people that I still was subscribed to. So February comes and that's when uh, I came across some more videos of the Hebrew Israelites. So that's the direction the Lord was telling me to go in. So I started watching some more of those videos and then all of a sudden I was awakened. Now even though in 2012 the Lord had me watch some of the Hebrew Israelite videos before but I didn't snap it away. And then in 2013, he had a Hebrew Israelite, a black Hebrew Israelite, move next door to me and tried to talk to me as well. And I didn't reject what he was saying. Uh, you know, I went through the same motions that most people go through when they first hit us. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, we all one body in Christ. Uh, there's neither Jew or Gentile in the body of Christ. That doesn't matter. All can be saved. You know, I, I threw the same stuff out. Instead of just hearing what the guy was trying to tell me. He was just trying to tell me that, hey, um, the, the Caucasian Jews are not the real Jews. We are. And that was it. It had nothing to do with grace, being in the body of Christ. Jew or Gentile, it had nothing to do with even salvation. It just had something to do with just telling the truth and setting the, setting the record straight according to the Bible and according to history. So I've been down that road. The Lord took me step by step by step and waking me up. And some of you are going to have to be led step by step by step in waking up from this matrix of lies. And that's what it is. It's a lies piled on top, on top of lies. And it started with the creation of the Roman Catholic Church. And when Roman Emperor Constantine got involved with the Christianity and started incorporating all this garbage, this paganism, into Christianity and changing times and laws within Christianity and gave you a new form of doctrine over time which is the doctrine that's being preached and taught in, in the churches today. It don't matter what denomination you are of, the Pope is in control because he infiltrated all these protestant churches subtly and lawfully. And you can do your homework about this as well. Uh, that's why most of the just are not together today. They, they don't sing with one voice. They're not with Israel like that. They, they don't claim to be Israel because they don't know that they're Israel. So I just want to give you all just a brief history of myself and my waking up and my wake up call. And that yes, I was a part of the pre-trib rapture group before I knew that I was the woman, I was Israel, and before I knew about the place of safety in the wilderness that's uh, prepared for us, all who would believe would go to this place before the great tribulations, and then at the end of the great tribulations, that's when Jesus Christ is gonna call his saints dead and alive up into the air to meet him that's when that's going to happen brothers and sisters 
it's going to happen exactly how Jesus Christ said it was going to happen in Matthew 24. He laid it out. Things that was going to happen before um, the woman is told to flee into the mountains. Which, but it says Judea flee into the mountains. But guess who he's talking about? He's talking about Judah. He's talking about Israel at that point. He's telling Israel to flee into the mountains. In Matthew's chapter 24. And if you go to Revelations chapter 12 verse. I think it's 14. It talks about. Is, uh, the woman was given wings of an eagle to fly into the wilderness. Which she have a place prepared for her. For three and a half years from the face of the serpent. The woman is the church. The woman is Israel. The new Israel that Jesus Christ created. The new spiritual Israel where there's neither Jew nor Gentile. All are one in the body of Christ. So Christ is coming for his own. He's coming for people that look like him. That walk like him. Talk like him. Act like him. Breathe like him. Now, of course, he doesn't expect you to be a, a perfect cover and copy. But you will produce his fruits. That's what he's coming for. These are the people that's going to make it into the wilderness and escape all the things that come upon this earth. These are the worthy ones. Because they know that they are Israel. And it doesn't matter what race you are. Black, white, yellow, red. It doesn't matter what nationality or tongue you speak. If you truly believe in that Jesus Christ came as God in the flesh, walked the perfect walk, took in all your sins, and died for you on the cross and was resurrected by the Father on the third day and then later ascended into heaven on the right hand side of God if you believe in this right now by faith you are the body of Christ and for those who have not said that prayer of salvation to Jesus Christ to be saved to be included into his body please say it now look in the uh, description box below say that prayer with an open heart to Christ and be grafted into the promises of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob that you may have eternal life that you may inherit the same body that Jesus Christ has that you may inherit the kingdom of heaven which is going to be here on earth and everything that the father has for you for for eternity he has eternal plans for you endless things for you that's why the uh, Lord says forsake everything down here right now during this period pick up your cross follow him forsake all the riches and the glory of man and fame and the vanity of man and follow Christ for your riches will be vast and great in the coming future world this world today has nothing to offer you now you, of course you have to live in this world brothers and sisters of course you have to live in it and you have to pay bills you have to have a job you have to provide the Lord not telling you not to do those things. But he's saying do it in his name. And give up your time to serve him so that you may serve others and bring them to Christ. And show them the way. Like he came and showed us the way. That's what Jesus Christ did. He came and he showed us the way. So I thank you for um, hearing me. Subscribe to this channel, share this video, please make good comments, 
and definitely favored it. All this helps um, this uh, Bible study class uh, grow. And if you are moved to make a donation to help this home online Bible study class, please go to my website in the description box below. And there's a donation button there. Your donations are very much needed. They are. For new equipment. Uh, especially another laptop. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to get clowned on that one. But <laughs> anyway, I'm working with what I have to do the work of the Lord. So if, if y'all do identify what this channel is bringing please support it <laughs> thank you and yo may the great lord yeshua mashiach awaken you open your eyes and feed you truth on this channel remember to subscribe and hit that like button all right bye bye